If you drop a ball from 5 meters, how long does it take to hit the ground? This is one of my favorite questions to ask beginner programmers, because it has an analytical solution. Let's start with the kinematic equation. x equals x0 plus v0 t plus 1 half a t squared plus 1 sixth b t cubed and higher order terms. If we assume that our initial velocity is zero, that no one cares about our b term because it's a jerk, our final position is zero, our initial position is five, and that we have an acceleration that is roughly negative 10 meters per second squared, we can solve for t and find that it's roughly one second. Because of how straightforward this is, whenever I have a new algorithm to solve Newton's equations of motion, this is my favorite test case. That said, we don't really need anything special to figure out how long it takes for a ball to hit the ground when dropped under constant acceleration. However, what if our acceleration is no longer constant, but instead a function of position which is a function of time? Imagine, for example, an asteroid moving through multiple planets' gravitational field. Well, in this case, we're going to have to rethink how we implement this in code. And here's where Verlet integration comes in. We want to find the trajectory of some object influenced by some force field. So we start with the object's position and try to find its new position one time step in the future. Obviously, this follows from the kinematic equation. The trick here is that we also take one time step back. In the time step back, we see that both the velocity and jerk terms are negative, which is incredibly important because when we add them together, these terms will cancel out, leaving us with an error term of delta t to the fourth. Which is pretty good, but what if we actually need that velocity for something, like maybe calculating the kinetic energy? Well, never fear, Stormer is here. He said that we could calculate the velocity of any object simply by taking its position one time step forward and its position one time step back and dividing by two delta t. Which sounds great, except let's go back to the case of an asteroid moving through the gravitational field of multiple planets. Here, it's obvious that the initial velocity of the asteroid actually impacts its trajectory. Don't worry, those crafty computational physicists thought of something for this too. It's called the velocity relay algorithm, where they basically said, screw it, we're just gonna use the kinematic equation every time step. It's exactly what you think it would be. There's more information about the Verlet, Stormer Verlet, and Velocity Verlet algorithms on the Arcane Algorithm Archive right now, so feel free to check it out. But here's where I drop the ball and you pick it up. So if you wanna help out, feel free to write some code that drops a ball from five meters and shows that it hits the ground in about one second. Submit the code in any way you want via pull requests, Twitter, even in the comment section below, and I'll take the cleanest implementation of every language submitted and put it into the algorithm archive. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Toodles!